What is going on everybody? Ian Paul with the Rockstar Pool 69 channel and here we are with another NASCAR Heat 2 career mode race. Uh, when you left us last time at... Uh, where did you race last time? Atlanta. We'd uh, finished third in our first ever race. And I thought that was a bit too easy. So we've uh, changed the settings. Um, I did have it on normal, uh, but uh, now I've uh, put it on hard. Kept everything else uh, the same. Um, except we've gone, well, it was qualify, we're now quick qualify. Because I've got a feeling I know where we're going to finish each time. Uh, so, it, I believe it is time to check for an offer. So let's get straight to it. And here we are. We um, have an offer to race at Charlotte. Because I really wanted to race at Martinsville. Because I believe I am the king of Martinsville, but obviously no one wanted me. And, well, I couldn't be asked with Kansas either. Not Kansas, sorry, Kentucky. So we are going to take hold of the number five truck here of Corbin Forrester. Corbin? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. I'm going to call him Baron. Baron Corbin. I think that's what I should call him from now on. Let's wait for it to load up. There we go. All right, there's the trucking question. There's the 19 truck. It's a lovely facility, is Charlotte Motor Speedway. All right, I think it's time to go qualify. What do you think? No, you don't want to qualify. Why not? Get, it, get your rear end out there and qualify. Okay, so we get qualifying now. Let's see if we can do any better than Corbin Forrester. Not very fast, is it? Can you all predict this already? Oh wow, twenty first. Weren't too far off Ben Rhodes' this time. Actually, we were a mile off Ben Rhodes' this time. So, let's get straight to the race. Here we go, under the lights of Charlotte, the green flag's in the air. And we're off for 40 laps. Try and get past Travis Quaffle. Car feels a bit loose uh, on exit there. Austin Hill. Travis Quaffle coming down on us hard. That was not nice of him. The three wide. Try over. We've got into Ryan Truex then. Eh? 
That comes up to uh, Ross Chastain and Noah Gregson. And I got a point in the wall. Yellow is out. We will not pit. And hopefully we get uh, a better restart this time. Todd Gilliland uh, on the outside, inside of us there was trying to go around the outside of Austin Hill. He puts it in the wall. Nice of him. Wendell Chavis going through with uh, Todd Peck. Spencer Boyd going through on the inside. We're going to go right uh, on the outside, I think. Truck really feels loose. Make an adjustment when I go into the pits. Yeah, it's really loose. I'm not liking this setup at all. Try and go underneath Wendell Chavis. I think we've got to go around the outside of him. Coming to Austin Hill and uh, Tommy Joe Martins. Not Ben Martins as I called him, he's put me in the, the fence. He's held on to it, Austin Hill. And we're under caution again. Anyone pitting? Nope, no one's pitting. I suppose I could though. I'm gonna pit, I'm gonna make uh, a wedge adjustment here. Try and tighten my car up a little bit. Take some, uh, take some tape off as well. See if that works. Oh, wouldn't you know it, no one else pitted. again as we uh, try and go around the air. Now instantly that truck feels a lot better. Got into Matt Mills there, didn't need to do that. Remember your goal, Ian. You've only got to get to the top 25. Oh, look at that run we got. Yeah, instantly that wedge adjustment makes this truck a lot tighter. Maybe a bit too tight. As we get Brian Dalzak going underneath us. Oh god, I'm paying no attention to the track here. And Mills has just put us in the wall. Ugh. Right. No fuel. Four tyres and repair the damage. Give me a little bit more wedge. No, I don't know what's going on here, guys. I am struggling like mad. And this track is just like Atlanta. Except it's got a little less bank in than Atlanta. Free wide with Dowser and Boyd, you know, we're we'll doing that.
should get Dow's out on the outside into one and two. Is that Noah Gregson down? What's Noah Gregson doing that far down? Are there some cars pitting? There's a lot of cars on the bottom row here. Oh, free wide with Javers. Oh, who's going to be chicken? I'm going to be chicken. I'm also going to be in the wall. Twice because Dowsett put me in the wall as well. Like an idiot. I'll remember that next time. He's uh, not happy with me, it's Mike's butter, I think, there. Uh, as we come up to Matt Mills again. We'll get to the front. Yeah, instantly I'm liking this truck. As we uh, tighten it up, here comes uh, Jennifer Joe Carr. Do you think if I wolf whistle at her, she'll get out of the way? See, she did. Around the outside of Chavis. See how hard he races in the tri oval. Go up high on Chavis. Got Clay Greenfield in front of us. That'll help us get past Chavis. It's 23rd. Yay! 20 to go. We can get to the bottom now. Yeah, instantly I'm liking this truck a lot better now that I've tightened it up. I suppose seeing as how we're in uh, Charlotte, I should uh, give the uh, traditional welcome in Charlotte. Woo! Yes, sorry, do it to be fan. We gave uh, Tyler Young a shove. A Three wide in front of me. Yeah, even though I'm not that brave. Going to the wall as well. Maybe we were a bit too tight there. This track, while it is like Atlanta, banking wise, it's a lot tighter than Atlanta. tighten the truck up a lot and that it's improved the handling so much to try and catch these guys. I don't know guys, I think we're going to have to uh, out-strategy a few people here to get uh, close, but we're in the uh, we're in the objective area. That's all we uh, should be grateful for. Definitely gaining some speed on uh, Austin Hill and uh, Tommy Joe Martins. Oh, yes, we got Austin Hill. And we've got a bit of momentum as well. We might be able to get Tommy Joe Martins. 
I'd rather put him in the wall as we cruise. That was a cruise. Coming up to Todd Gilliland, not David Gilliland, as I called him. My American friends uh, had a go at me for that one. Call yourself an ass car fan? You don't know the name of dope driver. That's not how they spoke, but I imagine that's uh, how some of the locals spoke. Should get past uh, Todd Golden into three and four. And we're up into the top 20. Tyler Young and Travis Quapple in front of us. Oh, we'll get Young off uh, three and four. We'll be side by side with Quapple, I think. Inside, inside, he's getting angry with me. He's Brett Griffin, our spotter. Yes, I know there's still a car out there because I can see him right there. Of course, I'm staying high. What did you expect? Bet me to do. Oh, he's put me in the wall and I've slammed into. Ugh. These guys are being nasty. I don't like it. Alright, we'll pit. Perhaps take a little wedge out. Still no fuel. We'll take four tyres up. You ready? Green flag is going to be in the air! Seven to go in stage one. Always want to hug the bottom on the restart. Always. I suppose I should let them fan out a bit. You want to get off the apron, Ian? As a... Uh... Oh, Mills has put me in the grass. Ugh, these guys are a nightmare today. Do you ever get the feeling you shouldn't have gone hard on the setup? Positions up here and convert to Matt Mills who pull us in the wall. Should get past him, should get past Spencer Boyd, should get past Joe Nemechek. He's got a Nemechek up there. Ooh -hoo. Here comes Matt Mills again. Free wide boot! Oh, that was brave! Stupid, but brave! Should get Clay Greenfield. He's, he looks woefully slow. 
So is Todd Gillum, and I wonder if somebody uh, checked up. So yeah, we'll get Todd Gillum and Austin Hill as well, hopefully, see if we can catch the draft of the car truck in front. Not the car in front. So we'd also get past Wendell Chavis. Chavo. And we do, and we're up, back up to Tommy and Joe Martins. TJ Bell. Not Chris Bell, because Chris Bell drives the four. I wonder if they're a relation. Maybe they are. Cody Coughlin in front of us. Cody Coughlin coming up the track on us. That would have been uh, not very friendly. Travis Quapple there. Knowing Travis, he'll try and put us in the wall. Get round him, we're now going to go with Tyler Young, side by side, down the back stretch. Should get Tyler into three and four. We just can't seem to clear Tyler Young. Oh, is that the end of the stage already? Oh well. We didn't get any stage points. Now. No one's pitting either, but we're gonna pit. We're gonna get fuel, tires, and we're gonna repair any damage. So guess where we're gonna end up? Okay, why, why did we uh, start 17th? Why do we start 17th with uh, JJ Yaley in front of us? Oh, Austin Sindrick with the move down below. I imagine Austin Sindrick's not going to be impressed with us there. We're not going to try and go around Brian Truex, that's just suicide. He got a message of his spotter there. Get out of the way, Corbin Forrest is coming through another what? I did not think we'd be challenging for the top 10. With Regan Smith on our inside. There's Ross Chastain, whose truck we drove last race. Give uh, Regan Smith some room. So that just proves you can drive that truck in the top uh, whatever. Because Ross Chastain's doing it. Oh, we had to check up that he was coming up the track and fast. And we've cleared Reagan Smith. Now let's see if we can clear Chastain. Yeah. And be in the top ten. They seem to be better on the straights. I 
because you have a truck falling back here. Who is this truck falling back? Can we clear Ross Chastain this time? Yes, 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 no, yes, no, maybe, don't know, not quite. We've got him this time. No, we haven't. Ryan Truex uh, moving up there. Oh, it's also John Hunt and Ema checked. Oh, he's slow in the corner. He checked up. It's like he wanted to go and I wanted to go and he just didn't. He must be battling the handling on that uh, truck in front of me. How are we going to clear this lot? By going three wide, three wide! Oh, that's brave! And we've cleared John Hunt and Nemechek. Whew! We do not want to be doing that too often. Still battling with uh, Ross Chastain and Ryan Truex. Wayne Austin Wayne Self in front of us as well. With his don't mess with Texas truck. I prefer if I didn't mess with Texas because Texas is a big state. Right, this time I'm going to play a chastain. And we don't. Ryan Truex is messing with Texas. He got Austin Wayne self uh, very loose going into three. Right now we'll clear off Ross Chastain. They told me don't mess with Texas. The yell is out. Right, I'm gonna pit. See if we can get on an alternate strategy to everyone in front of us. Green flag in the air and we're off again. Good news is I think we can make it on fuel to the end of this stage. I'm not so sure Denlock can make it. We get Todd Peck go under the the Joe oh Carb. We're giving Todd Peck a good push, I tell you. That's the uh, universally recognized symbol of get out of the way, I am faster than you are. Three wide again, I'm nuts. Oh, Tommy Joe Martin's coming up into us there. Oh, round the outside of Quapple, you don't want to be doing that, especially in them tight turns. Leave me, Nora. I'm going to give myself a heart attack here. Oh, oh. 
Austin Hill again is very loose out of turn two. That's going to give Wendell Chavis uh, the run. And we're in the wall again. Come on, Ian, you're overdriving the truck. Don't overdrive the truck. Coming up to JJ Yaley. Look at the line he's taking. And for us to get around him, we're having to go right up against the wall. I tell you what, they keep putting us in the wall and we're going to have a problem. Going to go around the outside of Wendell Shavers. Should get him into turn three, that'll clear him. That's a back up to 21st again. Ah, there's a truck pitted. Who was that? That was Matt Crafton. So, as I thought, they are not going to make it. Could we take a stage win? More trucks coming in here. The bottom's clear, but I prefer the top if you don't mind. Okay, now I'll get in the bottom. There are, there are more trucks pitting. Got past uh, JJ. Look how beat up Austin oh, Hill's truck is. As JJ wants his place back, but uh, I got two words for him. Unfortunately, this is a family show, so uh, I can't say one of the words. Cars heading to pit road here. And we race Tyler Young for 13th and uh, no, it's now 11th. We're also going to be racing Cody Coughlin in for the top 10. We've passed Tyler Young. Just... We just cleared Cody Coughlin, I think, out of three and four. That was candy from a baby. A lot of cars pitting now. We are in third with only TJ Bill Bell and Stuart Fryson in front of us. And I imagine this is Fryson coming up now. So, Bell, they're going to pit this lap. I'm dreaming of a stage victory. Oh yeah, I could have been on uh, Britain's Got Talent. I'm the missing member of Take That. We are in the lead. And I don't think the cars behind us, Gilliland, Chavis, Martins and Nemechek, have pitted yet either. How am I doing on fuel? 40 laps of fuel left. And we've got 12 laps left. <sighs> smell that? You know what that smells like? Victory. Joe Nemechek's still not pitted. All these guys are the bat markers that are not uh, 
no use to see in the front of the track here. They just run the truck for a few laps and then go straight into the pits. Why turn up? Charlotte, uh, famous for the all-star race that happens the day before the Coke 600. No, I think it happens the day before the day before the Coke 600. but uh, soon will become famous for another reason. That's right, when it comes to chase time, it'll be the third road course. The Charlotte Roval, they are calling it. I haven't driven on that course yet, but uh, I quite imagine it's going to be quite different racing on banking and uh, road course. See now the only car that's not pitted is Matt Clay Greenfield. Matt Crafton's all that down. So we're all going to have to pit again once. I might not, uh, well I might pit but just take four tyres, I think the fuel's good. Where is Crafton? I would rather Crafton did not pass us. Then again, I'd rather quite a few people wouldn't pass us. <laughs> but if we stay out, they are going... How's the tyres looking? Tyres are looking good. I think Clay Greenfield's going to try and make it uh, to the end of them pit uh, as well. I think Clay Greenfield's going to get a nosebleed being up this high. Now it looks like we're coming up to the back, couple of uh, bat markers here. This should be interesting. So one thing I hated during Heat Evolution, because you did not know how predictable these bat markers would be. Really take a stage victory. So I, I'm I'm dreaming, right? Surely I've got to be dreaming. We're here as a hot shot driver. Racing Baron Corbin's truck. We could win this race stage. Seems impossible to say that, doesn't it? Now I do notice something in the distance behind me. That's Matt Crafton coming quick. 
I would rather Matt Crafton was not coming that quickly, because I might have to start fighting him to keep him on a lap down. I think he might just, but well, he's going to get the wave around anyway. We are coming to get to the white flag for this time by. And here comes Crafton. And he, he spun us. We've held on to it though. That was rather naughty of Mr. Crafton there. Then we've got Noah Gregson and uh, Grant Effinger coming up fast. They can stay there as far as I'm concerned. Because believe it or not, the number five truck is about to take a stage victory. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Looks like Clay, Clay Greenville and Matt Crafton are going to get uh, another couple. There we go. Clay Greenfield, Matt Crafton, Noah Gregson, Grant Effinger, Chris Bell. Right, we're going to pit. Uh, two cans, repair the damage, uh, let's give us a couple of the wedges as well. Right then, let's get going. So we pitted, no Gregson got the free pass. Clay Greenfield's getting a nosebleed because he's leading this race. I'm going to use him to block Matt Crafton and take the lead back. Now, how many laps are in this stage? There are 50 laps in this stage. And I've got 50 laps of fuel. <laughs> Maybe I should just let Matt Crafton go. You know what I'm saying? New tyres on this truck are doing wonders. And tightening the truck up's done wonders as well. We don't have to worry about Clay Greenfield, he is woefully slow. We're able to drive it down on the bottom, and we're able to keep it on the bottom. But we just can't keep up with Crafton. Unless it's through the corners. You know, I hope it, as soon as I win this race, I hope they give me a drive with this car. Because they got to be thinking, my God, we've been putting this carbon forester in this truck and he's done nothing for us. That was my best hillbilly accent, by the way. I apologise for offending any uh, natives of uh, that area. Yeah, Crafton's starting to get away from us now. But I'm not worried in the slightest. We've got Grant Effinger wanted his lap back. Well, he can have the lap back off me, that's fine. He might not get it back off uh, Matt Crafton.
Now it's Ben Rhodes that wants his uh, lap back. Well, like I said, he can get it back off me, but he might not get it back off uh, Mr. Crafton up to the front here. As we... <laughs> that was a block. I think uh, Ben Rhodes is going to take it this time. No, we're blocking the pair of them. They'll give us a penalty for that. You're not allowed to block in NASCAR. It's unsportsmanlike kind of. Ben Rhodes got really tight and washed up the track there. Here comes Effinger. I think he was looking underneath there. He wanted to uh, get me loose going into one and two. Now, what's he do? Oh, bloody hell, look at him. Uh, I'm not even going to oh, fight oh. this. He is all oh, hey, faster than me. And when I say way faster, I mean way faster. Well, I, I don't have to wait. I don't have to pit again. It's all a question of when they're going to pit. And then if they pit, are we going to get a yellow? which I hope we don't. Because I guarantee you now, if we get a yellow, these guys are pitting. Because Ben Rhodes wanting his lap back. I might just give it him. The one thing I will say is I'm keeping Mr. Crafton honest. He's only 2.7, 2.8 seconds in front of us. Yes, he's pulling away by about, what? Four, five tenths a lap. I mean, even Enfinger, he's not pulling away too much. See, now this is why I like stage racing. It can throw up so many variables. Well, here's the biggest variable of them all. A rookie. And by rookie, I mean I've raced in two races. Could potentially win on his second race. Gonna try and block Ben Rhodes here, but uh, that's uh, pretty... Oh, he's backing off. He got way into the grey at the top there. Oh, I knew the guy got the wall. Look how much faster Ben Rhodes is. The good news is he's slingshotting me straight into the corners. The bad news is I'm giving him a hell of a run off the corners to try and catch me up. He seems to have backed off. I think he's, um, ooh, speaking of people that should have backed off there. I think he's going to get a run on me now, coming off a two. Trucks. 
starting to get a little loose uh, coming off a of four. At least it's nice and easy through one and two. Thirty six to go. Fuel is thirty six. <laughs> or 35. Oh boy, we may have to do a splash and dash it towards the end here. I'm hoping we don't. If the caution comes out while they're all in pit, it looks like somebody's pitted now. Yeah, Grant N thing. I oh, know he didn't, did he? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm confused. Who is this behind me? That's Ben Rhodes, isn't it? Yeah, we let Envinger through. So this should be Ben Rhodes. Noah Gregson is nowhere near us. But I did see a car in the pit lane and it's not there now. So, I wonder if we're going to start seeing green flag stops. Yes, we are, because Clay Greenfield's in the pit. So we're going to put Clay Greenfield a lap down. So now Clay Greenfield's the one we're racing. Because he can make it to the end. Just not sure if we're going to make it on fuel. We may need to put everyone on lap down to make it on fuel. There's another car in the pits. 32 laps, 32 laps. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it on fuel. We're going to run out on the penultimate lap, the white flag lap. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? So yeah, this is Ben Rhodes behind me. He wants his lap back. I don't want to give it to him. I'd rather keep him a lap down now. There are some faster cars coming. All these are going to be lapped down as well. These are going to be uh, whoever's behind Ben Rhodes. Because he's uh, piddling his time around trying to overtake me. When are you going to go into the pits, Mr. Crafton? I, I believe we're racing uh, Clay Greenfield for the victory here. Another truck in the pits. Yeah, I believe Noah Gregson might be coming up fast here. Also catching Matt Crafton. 
pretty considerably as well. Is he going to pit now? I think we're going to run out there. I hope we don't. Yeah, they're all fighting now. So Noah Gregson should be in that pile up somewhere. As we go... Oof. Don't want to watch that far up the track, Ian. Right, they're, they're pitting. There's pitting cars here. Either that or they're just that frustrated they want to get past people. No, they're, they're trying to get race for position there. This, uh, this could get nasty behind us. Who do we block? Everyone. They're three, four wide behind me. Right, block Sindrix. Sindrix now wanted his lap back. We are catching these lap cars. I think, wonder if that's why um, Mr. Crafton was slow. He was trying to get round these lap cars. Cindric really wants his lap back, doesn't he? Pit. Yellow's out, everyone's pitting. That was my worst case scenario. Right. Left sides, half a can of. Actually, no on the fuel, but repair the truck and make me a little tighter. That was the scenario I didn't want. I really did not want that scenario. Because now look at Crafton. And Cedric, look at... No, that's Chase Briscoe! And here comes whoever that is that was fighting me for a position. Here comes Grand Denfinger. It is Ben Rhodes of the 27. I'm being hung out to dry and everyone is coming past me. I didn't touch him. Lies. Can we make it on fuel now? Yes. That we can definitely do. We can definitely make this on fuel. Finger got really loose out that corner. Go back, go back. 
Might be taking second place off uh, Grant Enfinger back. We've got Noah Gregson up our rear end. Looks like we are going to take second place back off Grand Ten Finger, but he's going to have the truck down the back straight, isn't he? The yellow is out. Well, we're not going to pit. How did we get up to second? We didn't pass Grant Enfinger before the caution. Am I complaining? No. Because we're just about to beat uh, Matt Crafton into turn one. And stay there. Oh, that is Noah Gregson coming fast! Where did Noah Gregson come from? That was literally out of nowhere! Oh, we are so much faster in the corners than Greg Gregson, but he's got the straight line speed. If we can pass Gregson, 10 to go, I think we could win. Well, we got to pass Gregson. And that's not easy, especially with Crafton coming hard. But we are getting uh, our oh. He's put us in the wall, what are you doing? <sighs> what a donkey. Right, don't pit. But every car that comes up is another car that could potentially beat us here. Well, we're gone again. We're going to make it three wide before we even get to turn one. That's ridiculous. Crafton just didn't go. Mr. Gregson, you are giving us a lovely slingshot. Five to go. Oh, don't, do, don't do that, Ian. You're going to row it all away. Come on. Come on, baby. We're trying everything to block Gregson, but he can bend rows with three wide. <sighs> Don't worry about Ben Rhodes! Just worry about Noah Gregson! Don't worry about that white truck either, unless that white truck spins you out. It is frantic and I am pedaling! Here comes Crafton! And here comes Gregson again! But we're 
doing enough. Crafton's using that white truck to protect him. I have no idea who the white truck is, but it can go away. Two to go as we come across the line. It's Ryan Truex in the 16. Go down the bottom block, Ryan Truex. Coming up to the one to go, white flag presented by Credit One Bank. I think we can do this. Truex again to the outside. I think we're going to hold them off. Can you believe it? Oh, they got to give me a drive for that now. I have got to get a drive for that. How did we win that race? We took a stage victory and we won the race. And I asked the question again. How? Twenty first of the championship. I, st I still don't believe we won. It, it, it didn't happen. Someone's going to come up to me, pinch me. Nope, it just didn't happen. We won at Charlotte. With Baron Corbin Forrester's truck. I, I would take a photo, my good man. It's probably the first time that truck's ever been to Victory Lane. Grant Enfinger with the fastest lap. I didn't care that. Wow, we need to get a drive for that Ray. One. Nice job with that top 25 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for next season. Really? Oh, come on, Waters Motorsport. You're really going to do that to me? <sighs> Yes, Mr. Bell. I won without a full-time team. Amazing Rockstar Pool 69. Awesome. Right, we need to see our next race. They've got to give us something here. Now, I believe... I believe Bar Harbor is... Gateway? Let's see if we get a ride for Gateway. We do! Ah, we get TJ. We get TJ's uh, Patriot 45 truck. Oh no, this is Dover, sorry. <laughs> it's not Gateway. I thought it was Gateway. Oh, uh, we could use your help driving the number 45 the Dover this Friday. Get a top 25 and we may consider working with you in the future. Well, you're going to have to wait until the next time to see if we... Uh, get that ride because what I'm gonna do now is go have a nice warm victory glass of something so until uh, the next time we will see you free wide at victory lane